If you don't know who Johnny Harris is, you need to crawl out from under the rock you've been living under and join the rest of us. When it comes to documentaries, be it on YouTube or anywhere else for that matter, Johnny Harris has a certain style and a way to tell a story that makes almost every one of his videos go viral. I mean, who else can make a video about olive oil and get over a million views in the first month? The reason basically all his videos go viral is Johnny has mastered the art of telling a story that sucks you right in and leaves you wanting more. To complement his storytelling, the editing in his video is also designed to keep the viewer engaged. While I can't teach you how to be a great storyteller like Johnny, I can show you a few tricks Johnny uses consistently in his videos so you can try them in your own. First up is the still image slideshow. Let's face it, using still images in your video is boring, especially if you have to use a few of them in a row. To make it less boring, while keeping things relatively simple, you can build a simple projector slideshow like Johnny often does in his videos. Grab all your still images in the media browser and add them to your timeline. To keep things moving along, you want to keep these up on screen just long enough for your viewer to grasp what's in the image without lingering too long. I find about 15 frames does the trick. Click on your first image and shift click on your last one to select everything in between. Press Ctrl D to set the duration and type in 1, 5 and enter to change the duration of each clip to 15 frames. With all your images still selected, in the inspector window, down at the bottom, change the spatial conform option to fill so your images fill up the full video frame. Place your playhead at the start of your first image, make sure it's selected and head back up to the video inspector. Change the scale all value to about 120% and add a keyframe here. Move about 5 frames ahead and change it back to 100% for this subtle zoom out animation. A little bit of blur here would also help sell this effect. Press Command 5 to open the effects browser and from the blurs category, grab the Gaussian blur effect and add it to your clip. Move the playhead back to the start of your clip and add a keyframe to the blur amount. Press Ctrl V to open your video animation menu, move your playhead to the second keyframe and bring the amount slider back down to zero. Now, we need to add this to the rest of our images. Instead of repeating all the steps again, just select your first clip and press Command C to copy it. Select your next clip and press Shift Command V to paste attributes. Make sure all the parameters you adjusted are selected, change the keyframe time into maintain, and click the paste button to add the same effects to your next clip. Repeat this for every image in your slideshow. And last, to really finish this effect off, we need to add a click and sound effect. I found an actual projector sound effect on Novato Elements that works perfectly for this. Before we move on to our next effect, I just want to take a minute to talk about today's sponsor, Motion VFX. Whether you're making documentaries like Johnny, travel videos, or even tutorials like this one, using high quality plugins can not only save you a ton of time, but also set your video apart from the rest. Take M Documentary for example. This plugin comes with over 60 narrative tools and effects to help you tell your story. M Documentary includes backgrounds, overlays, transitions, typography, and so much more. And using these assets is as simple as dragging and dropping. So if you want to add a VCR effect to your clip to help move your story along, you just drop it above your clip and in just seconds you have this cool VHS look. Motion VFX has a ton of professional plugins for Final Cut Pro that look amazing and are super simple to use. There's a reason some of today's top brands like Apple, NHL, Discovery Channel, and even NASA use Motion VFX plugins. No one else even compares. Also, Motion VFX is currently having their annual Black Week sale. You get 30% off any Motion VFX product, a free plugin with a purchase of $100 or more, and 50% off any of the four specials of the week. Black Weeks is a perfect time to add some great plugins to your toolbox and take your edits to the next level. Now, back to the video. For our next effect, let's take a look at how to highlight text in a document or a screenshot like you often see in Johnny's videos. This is also really simple to do. Add your screenshot to your video project, go to the Titles and Generators browser, and navigate to the Custom Generator. Add this generator clip above your timeline and change the color to the color you want your highlighter to be. Go back to the Video Inspector and to see the text below your generator clip, change the Blend Mode to Darken. Go down to your effects browser, select the distortion category and add the crop and feather effect to your generator clip. Use the controls in the video inspector to crop and reposition the generator clip over the text you want to highlight. Use the roundness and feather sliders to make this look more realistic. You can now use a crop tool to animate your highlighter effect. Make sure your generator clip is selected and set your playhead where you want your animation to start. Select the crop tool, grab the handle on the right 
and move it over to the left until you can't see your generator clip anymore. Add a keyframe here to your crop parameters. Move your playhead ahead a few frames, grab the same crop handle and move it to the right to reveal your highlighter. To speed up or slow down your animation, press Ctrl V to show your keyframes and drag them closer together or further apart to adjust the speed. And just like before, add some sound effects to sell this even more. And last, but definitely not least, my favorite effect Johnny uses in quite a few of his videos, match cut on text. This one is also really easy to do, just takes a little bit of time. What you'll need is a few screenshots, news articles, or even documents with the same phrase. Import these into Final Cut Pro and add one of these clips to your timeline. First thing you need to do is center this phrase in the video frame. Use the transform tool to make it nice and big. And to help get it right in the middle, turn on the horizon guides. Add your next clip above it. Turn down the opacity to around 50% adjust the size and position until the text matches the clip below it. Turn your opacity back up and repeat these steps with the rest of your clips. Next, you need to line these clips up one after another in your timeline and set the pacing. You'll want the first couple to stay on screen for a little bit longer, around 8 to 10 frames, and then progressively speed it up by making the clips shorter. Add a click or a pop sound effect every time your shot changes and maybe a highlighter effect over your text. Here's our finished result. This was just a small sample of some of the editing techniques Johnny uses in his videos. If you want more tips like this, or if you want to learn a specific effect, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.